Hey guys, it's Emily from Kitten's Book Corner and today I am here to do a book review or a series review more like. And the series I'm going to be reviewing is The Wake Trilogy or on Goodreads it's called The Dreamcatcher Trilogy by Lisa McMahon and it includes three books. It's a trilogy obviously so it includes Wake, Fade, and gone. All of those books are by Lisa McMahon, like I said. But the basic plot of these books is that there's this girl, her name is Janie, and she's been getting suckered into dreams since she was eight years old. And as she's gotten older, the dreams getting sucked into them has happened more frequently. And in the books, she is now 17, and she is sick of being sucked into these dreams. She's sick of having to be constantly alert and worried if she's going to get suckered into someone's dream during class because when she gets suckered into these dreams she can't like see and sometimes she like shakes like she's having a seizure so it doesn't always it's not a good thing that this happens sometimes. Um she ends up meeting a guy and his name's Cable and she gets to know him pretty well throughout the books and throughout the books she learns that she has more power than she originally thought she did when it came to su being suckered into her dreams. So yeah that's all I'm going to say about the actual series. I'm not going to give any spoilers away or anything like that. I thought that this book had a great plot. All the books flowed together. The story was fast paced and it was very addictive. You could fly through all three of them right in a row because I think the biggest one is like 250 pages that are not that big at all. So flying through them, I think I flew through them in like three or four days. Um, I thought that the descriptiveness was pretty well done. The dream catcher and like the dream being suckered into the dreams was explained well so you understood it. There was no love triangle. I loved that because in YA that doesn't happen much anymore. So that was that's nice. I thought that there wasn't much to these books. I think they're more of a middle grade or younger adult like earlier teen age books because they're very light easy reads and they talk in third person and the sentences are very choppy which got annoying sometimes like Janie Hannigan's math book slips from her fingers she grabs the edge of the table in the school library everything goes black and silent she sighs and rests her head on the table tries to pull herself out of it but fails miserably she's too tired today too hungry she really doesn't have time for this and then so like the sentences are very short and choppy and that kind of got annoying like sometimes I didn't notice it but sometimes I really noticed it. I loved Cable as a character. I thought that he was like an amazing person and he's, he's very well developed throughout the story. Janie is very well developed throughout the story too. I loved the relationship between the two of them between Cable and Janie. For the most part, sometimes it got sort of annoying because of Janie. Because Janie got very frustrating at times in the story. She'd always run away from her problems and she wouldn't let anyone explain anything about why they did a certain thing. And it just got really annoying because she never listened. And I mean, I understand because she has like abandonment issues and she has all these problems. And I understand that, but she still got slightly, she got very annoying at times. Overall though, I thought that the series was definitely a great series and I definitely recommend it and all three of the books, each one each gets four stars because of the choppiness and the main character being frustrating. But yes, four stars for this series. This is a book review from Emily from Kitten's Book Corners. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know about your thoughts on the books if you've read them or if you would like to read them or if you have any questions. So thanks for watching. Bye.